in this video. A circuit of 1964 that I found in Electronics World and I am always say in a certain way trying to conserve all documents and well this is one of them from a very old radio magazine of 1964 and anyway let's look at the circuit uh, I'm directly uh, say videoing this circuit from my from the screen of my computer so um, well it's a simple circuit where they in the past tried to uh, say change a waveform into a square wave and as far as I could see uh, the circuit that, that they the, sorry the wave that they wanted to change is a sine wave into a square wave and they made this circuit to do that I hope you can read the text it's a 3 transistor square wave pulse adapter and indeed you can convert your sine wave into a source of a fast rise time and that's always very important a fast rise time uh, when the rise time of a square wave is not good enough uh, that can give problems uh, especially when you want to drive say a Darlington or a transistor in a very fierce way so I swift now here uh, the screen and go back to the first text anyway here is that circuit I hope it's visible. I will take a pencil, take some time anyway, to indicate what happens here. So uh, here perhaps you can get some idea about what happens in the circuit. Uh, there are three transistors here and I think in those days, 1964, they were germanium transistors, but perhaps they could be silicon transistors anyway. But what we see here is a so called Schmidt trigger. And um, the Schmidt trigger has the property that when you uh, say at a sine wave voltage to the input it will change it to a square wave uh, and here there are coupling capacitors used and this transistor here has in my opinion the only aim to say uh, give a better uh, square wave out output between 1 and 2. So that's the whole issue about this circuit. It is in my opinion very interesting. You can uh, say reproduce it now with silicon transistors um, and of course say try to find on the World Wide Web uh, circuits where they uh, publish the Schmidt trigger circuit. The Schmidt trigger circuit is able to change waveforms and it has much more and also other properties. Here are, that's very important perhaps, um, the components to be used and 
and here the circuit in a detailed way. I've uh, say published on my YouTube channel uh, say many Schmidt trigger circuits, but this is a very old one from 1964. So quite a long time ago, and it's very interesting to see here that they made a variable uh, resistor here to set to align or change the working point, the bias of that first transistor here. That's important. When you change that bias, the whole circuit will act different. So that will be a very will be will have a very sure effect on how that sine wave is changed into a square wave. Very important, anyway. So let's look further. I put the camera down now, anyway. Uh, well, perhaps the text will be interesting, especially uh, for all the people uh, look, looking to my videos in America or in other, uh, say, states where um, American or English is properly uh, understand it. Anyway, I will take now the escape. And I will, I hope that, say, that doesn't work anyway, doesn't matter much. I wanted to show the schematic more precise that was in my next photograph that I wanted you to, uh, say, show. So, uh, a good article, I think. How it was made in the past, in 1964. That's very interesting. Made on a, say, a breadboard with transistors and a 9 volt battery. And here, slowly, the text again. And the reason that I publish it is, in my opinion, that is it is very important to conserve all these old, say, electronic magazines, uh, because they are very important to understand the basic principles of the electronics. And especially with transistors, these basic principles could be very well understood. Easier to understood, that's what I mean.